Okay then guys, this is Flipnik. It's for the PS2. And uh, it's, it's basically a pinball game, but unlike um, a lot of pinball games, which are obviously based on pinball tables, this is its own thing. And um, it's really, really good actually. I picked this up full quick. And it's well worth it. So basically, it's, it's like traditional pinball. So you've got your flippers. You want to make sure that basically you don't don't hit anything you shouldn't. Oh, bugger that up. But um, the, the table design is really, really clever. So there are all, all these tables are connected in different ways and you've got a set amount of it, um, challenges to do. So this one here I love some multi ball. And one thing I do like about this, as opposed to a lot of pinball games, you obviously require to basically work out exactly what you're supposed to do. But this does actually tell you, making things a hell of a lot easier. There's quite a variety of tables to unlock, um, including boss um, battles, believe it or not, one of which we'll take a look at in a moment. And it's just some really, really good fun. It, um, it does run at 50 hertz which uh, might explain the flickering you can see. Because it's a fairly early game, but um, very, very good. So again, now basically you've got X amount of seconds to get away from this. So basically you can either knock it up to the left hand side of the screen, or when the UFO tries to catch you guys, you can basically try and protect them. Ah, uh, dear. So again, you could argue that the the actual angle that you look at the table is a bit difficult because there's no way to actually change it like you can on similar games. And due to the nature of pinball and physics, it's not always easy to basically pull off the, the actual puzzles you want to do. But this, this is really, really inventive and like I said, you can get that from your fiber. So if you're looking for something a bit different, then I highly recommend it. So basically, if I can hit, if I can hit the tree in the middle five times, we'll get the multiple back. So there's three. Come on. Two. One. Oh, come on, seven seconds. Fuck it. Oh well. Oh, here he comes again. Now he's going to start capturing balls. I'm very real pain. No, he's just technical. Okay then, so now we're going to take a look at one of Flipnik's bosses. <laughs> not like that one, not. So as you can see, he's constantly evolving into higher life forms and eventually he's going to start attacking you. So again, this is a nice touch. I don't know of many pinball games which feature bosses. I'm sure um, there'll be some of you out there though who can basically put me the rights and um, let me know where they are so I can track them down and take a look at them. So as you can see now, basically if they attack you, they free to flippers, which isn't a good idea. Okay, and this is only other table I've unlocked so far. But again, you can see how it's completely different to the first one. 
Again, completely different, completely different missions. Really clever little layout. Off we go. All physics are surprisingly good in this. Obviously, all pinball games live and die by how well the balls control, and this is, um, I wouldn't say it's perfect, but it's very, very solid. So basically, if you like pinball games, or you're basically looking for something a little different on your PS2, um, you really can't go wrong with this title. It does seem to be fairly hard to get hold of. I certainly, I certainly haven't seen it on um, eBay much, but um, when it does turn up, you can normally, like I say, get it from a fiver. So they, they might even have it in places like CX and that. But yeah, this is Split Neck, and it's a, it's a great little pinball title. This is Dan Jones from Retro Gamer, and I'll be back with more videos very, very soon. So if you've got more requests like this was, let me know what they are and I'll happily put them up.